What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? Low IQ Media here and we are here to uh, I guess I'm going to show you guys my Criterion Collection finally and uh, but I'm going to start off I'm going to show you what I got in the Criterion Hall to start off this video which was very little I just I didn't I have quite a bit of things and there's a few other things I want but I just didn't want to spend all the money right now for them I got a lot of other things going on right now, so, um, but basically this is a movie that I saw, um, oh, before we get started here, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, subscribe to it, and, um, uh, make sure you like, share, and, um, also hit that notification bell if you want to know when my videos come up, when I have a new one, so let's get started here on my Criterion Collection and my Criterion Hauls for 2021. Um, I may go back later in the month and kind of look around and see what's going on, but this is one of several people got, and it's one I have on DVD. Uh, Dag got it, Dag Films, uh, Mike over at Dag Films, uh, Mike's Blu-rays, but he got this as well. This is Bringing Up Baby. This is a good movie. It's Audrey Hepburn and Cary Grant. Uh, Audrey Hepburn's just like, um, I'm not going to do too much reviewing in this, but you know, she's just, um, from start to finish, just like she's on, she's like a nitro fuel dragster from beginning to end. She's just, just nonstop, just hilarious. And she's just, um, guns are blazing throughout the whole movie. You, you have to see it. It's just a wonderful, it's just, uh, just a funny, fast paced comedy it's wonderful and this is also this was a i'm pretty sure this is a, i don't have my anything over here we're going to kind of go through these quick because i got 150 plus movies so it'll take a minute but i'm pretty sure this is howard hawks did this and yeah howard hawks he directed that movie it's a wonderful movie um and um the next up is lone wolf and cub as you can see, none of these have been opened yet. I kind of wanted to do this, this video first. But this is Lone Wolf and Cub. I'll try to get it a little bit closer so you can see it. Um, I've seen some of this stuff. But if anybody's familiar with the uh, movie um, Shogun Assassins, this is part of that, um, I guess, quadrilogy of movies. Or it's just, it's part of that, that storyline of movies. So... This kind of, this that movie is on here restored in Blu-ray. I think it's a 4K restoration. It might be a 2K, uh, 2K digital restorations. But um, yeah. But that's what this. I don't know a ton about this set. I'm getting ready to dive into it. Um, I just know a little bit about Shogun Assassins and those movies. Maybe a later uh, review on this one. But I also picked up Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. It's a big nice package. As you can see, it's a nice set. I haven't watched this movie in a long time. It was kind of interesting picking this up because I'd forgot this movie takes place in bed -Stuy, and I've been watching Everybody Hates Chris, and that show takes place in bed -Stuy. So, uh, we'll, um, yeah, we'll take a gander at this here soon. Like I'm saying, I don't want to get too much into the reviews, and it's been a while since I've seen Do the Right Thing, so it'll, it'll be a little, I'll have to do a little bit of refreshing from um like i'm saying it's been a long time so i'll have to i'll have to refresh myself but on to my collection now my collection uh, like i say i did not count them beforehand and um and, um i have 153 movies just slightly over 153 criterion and um i've been collecting for quite a while with criterion i don't have tons some people have like lots i'm not a completionist so if it doesn't have something, actually, I have a couple more. I have more than that on Criterion. Also, I'm cutting back in here. Um, also, I had this I picked up recently. It's um, that one getting bad reflection there, but um, this was a uh, thief. It's a James Con movie. Uh, this is a movie I'm like to check out. We'll kind of start off with that one because this is the newest one. It's like one of the newest ones. I didn't. I didn't buy that part of the sale, but here, here's a couple more. I had to. I can't remember how many movies are in this, but 
This is the Godzilla. I can't hardly get that hardly in the shot. This is the Godzilla Criterion Collection. This giant booklet. Um, I'll count the movies here in just a second. But this has Godzilla, Godzilla Raids again, Godzilla vs. King Kong, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah, The Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, Ibra Horror of the Deep, Son of Godzilla, Destroy Destroy All Monsters, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hydra, Hedra, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and Terra of Mechagodzilla. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 movies on this. There was... I left the J card attached to this, but it's because it was so flat, it's able to stay on there. So I just left it on. It makes it easy to know what's in there. But this is the Godzilla Criterion Collection set. And this is the next, this is the next, the only other criterion, big criterion, well, the, I obviously have some sets up here, but this is the Federico, Federico Fellini criterion set. This is another excellent set. Um, I apologize here. I didn't um, prepare to, uh, okay. But here's kind of the inner, here's here's what the inners look like. Actually, this was the J card attached to the outside. And um, this is just some extra supplemental material that comes inside of the box. But the movies that come on this are as follows. Variety Lights, The White Sheik, Ivatelloni, La Strada, El Bidon, not of, not of Gabria, La Dolce Vita, Eight and a Half, Juliet of the Spirits, Fellini's, Fellini's Satyricon, Roma, Amarcord, and The Ship Sails On. And The Ship Sails On and Inter Vista. Excuse me, the name of the movies and The Ship Sails On. But um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 movies on this. And here's what the set looks like. It's another set with uh, sleeves like this. All the movies are in a sleeve like that. The very beautiful set. Now this set is very reminiscent of a Laserdisc set. The way they sized it. This um square box and also like like vinyl record sets would come like this as well but this is plenty it's a beautiful box it's just the beautiful colors and as well as the godzilla now the godzilla i apologize i did not show you that this is this is the movie sleeves this is how the they come in here um i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you these are a pain in the butt to get out they are hard i'm glad they're blue rays or if they were anything else they'd probably scratch all the pieces but those are two excellent sets and we'll get started up here this is where it starts here now on this side you can probably see a little bit better i kind of just i like this framing a little bit but these are my the bottom half of my king of lorbers now eventually i'm going to make some more room and do something with it because on the very bottom down here you can't see it these are the a completely filled up row of of arrow videos but criterion's here here and here and he, you know, down the bottom. But these are two full rows here and then a half row. But we will start with these movies here. These are, for the most part, all the box sets are right here. The small box sets. The first one is the War Trilogy. This is Roberto Rosalini's War Trilogy. These are, okay, it's called Rome Open City. Rome Open City. Excuse me. Rome Open City. Pajan. Germany year zero and I've watched a couple of these movies I, everything I've got in here I haven't watched a hundred percent of I've watched just about watched most of everything but this is the war trilogy like I say we're gonna have to move quickly because I've got a lot of stuff this is the Beatles hard days not self-explanatory there's the back side Beatles hard days not 
Howard Hawks' Red River. Before I say Howard Hawks, I better make sure he's the one that directed this. I, I might be wrong about that. I might be wrong about Howard Hawks. I apologize. Uh, I can't read the damn writing on here. It's like everything else. Here's the inner. But. Well, if I got that wrong, I apologize. I, I do that sometimes. But this is this is an excellent movie. John Wayne. It's Howard Hawks. Uh, excuse me. Red River. And Howard Hawks in my mind. Now this is the Bruce Lee collection that came out last year. Beautiful set. I love Bruce Lee movies. This had um this has the um you know all blue Bruce Lee's movies. It's uh The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, and Enter the Dragon. And it also has um, I think it also had the, yeah, Game of Death's on here as well. Game of Death's the movie he didn't um, finish. He only shot like the basically the, he shot so he got, basically shot the action sequences in the movie, and that's all that he finished. The rest of it was done with a bot with a body double, pretty badly done, to be perfectly honest with you. But you know, but then you get to the end action sequences, and pretty much he shot the end first. But the story behind it is, is the reason why he didn't finish it is because Hollywood came a calling because all these other movies like Big Boss and all that stuff, those were made in China or they were, they were made in Hong Kong and, um, excuse me, in Hong Kong. And they, um, he got famous and then Hollywood decided, well, he, he'd been to Hollywood before and also obviously played Cato on the Green Hornet. And he'd done some other stunt work, and he um, he was um, he ended up going back to China to or to Hong Kong to make his movies, and he these movies got real. He got real big in that time period, and he um, he essentially uh, Hollywood said, "Hey, we want to make a movie with you now," you know, and uh, so they uh, he left during the making of this to go make Enter the Dragon. So that's the story about that. I w went on too long about that. The next set up is called, it's called The Pignet from Hanging Rock. Um, it's just, this movie's pretty strange. It's a, uh, I hadn't watched this in a while, but there it's, it's about a group that goes missing at Hanging Rock, a place, I think this is in Australia. I, might, I, I apologize there's a similar, there's a real, there's a real like kind of um, story that kind of goes along with this. That's like a, a real place. I'm not sure if it's Hanging Rock or not, but this is a, uh, it's just a weird, weird kind of supernatural type of story. But um, it's a pretty cool little movie. The uh, next here, I've showed you, uh, you guys have seen this before. But this is Dietrich and Von Sternberg in Hollywood. This is Marlena Dietrich. Joseph von Stom Stromberg, uh, which is a director. This movie, this uh, set contains Morocco, Dishonored, Shanghai Express, Blonde Venus, Scarlet Express, Devil is a Woman. Uh, I've watched a couple of these movies, to be perfectly honest with you. I've watched M Morocco and Shanghai Express. These are these are excellent movies, von Stromberg. And I've, I've watched some other von Stromberg, and they did some other movies that's not in this set, like Blue Angel. And just wonderful movies. They they they're just I can't explain. Um, Marlene Dietrich, she's like really, I mean, for the day, she's like really sexy, just like really uh, just oozing sex appeal. Next one is the Buntel Collection. Louis Bunel. Pretty cool stuff. The Street Charms of Bourgeois, The Phantom of Liberty, The Obscure Object of Desire. But none of these have like any particular, they just have that little artwork like that on there. Some good stuff here. Interesting movies. If I can get that slip back in there. There we go. Like I was saying, I'm going to fly through these a little bit. 
Next up, we got Richard Linklater's Slacker. Love this movie. If you never saw it, I highly recommend it. Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused. I think everybody saw this. Most people don't know. Um, Slacker over there also comes with Richard Linklater's first um, feature length movie, which was called, it has a weird name. It's like called If You Can't Learn to Plow by Reading a Book. It's just kind of a self-made feature length movie he made, and it's it's a pretty fun little thing to watch. I actually uh, had that had both of those sets on DVD as well. This is also Richard Linklater, the Before Trilogy. Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight. Great movies if you never saw them. The Before Trilogy. The next one here is Karel Zeman. The Fantastic Journeys of Karel Zeman. This is a set. Um, I haven't watched everything on here, but I have watched... Um, but he also did the fabulous Baron Munchausen. It's the, the a story, a telling of the M Baron Munchausen before Terry Gillian's. But this also has Journey to the Beginning of Time and the Invention of Destruction. Excellent trilogy. Highly recommend it. I mean, look at that cover. It's pretty cool stuff. Next one is one I have not got a chance to watch. As you see, it's still got the sticker on it. This is Blow Up. This is Michelangelo and Antonio's. Yeah, Antononi's. Excuse me. <laughs> this is Blow Up. I have, this is one I have not watched yet. Next up is Asphalt Jungle. Start cruising through these. There's Roma. Another Federico Fellini movie. I have seen Roma, but I don't have I haven't watched this version of it. Like I say, I've got some stuff that's on the packages. Oop. There's poly yeah, that's weird. It's stuck. There's polyester if you've never seen that. John Waters, obviously, but Polly Escher, if you've seen a John Waters movie, you know you know John Waters. Here's the Time Bandits with still the stickers on it, but I've obviously seen it. I have Time Bandits on regular Blu-ray, but not on, I didn't have it on Criterion, so I picked it up a while back and just haven't watched the Criterion version. But this version is very nice, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It's a nice, um... Nice transfer, I guess, and just a wonderful movie. Amy Heckerling, Clueless, uh, many other movies. All right. I worked my way from here to here. So first, I might have to kind of go off camera for a minute to uh, show you some. Okay, this is Dragon's Inn, King Who. Good little movie. Lost in America. Election. The Killing. This is a Kubrick movie. That is bizarre. I don't know what's caused that. You guys see that line across through here? I do not know what has done that. Looks like that is bizarre. Huh. Charles Chaplin. Uh, for some reason, the killing's out of order. I, I usually have like my Kubricks together, but like nothing's been put, put in order here, so I apologize. This is Limelight, Charlie Chaplin. This is uh, Modern Times, Charlie Chaplin. Excellent movies. You ever watch silent? If you want to see some good silent movies, there's Gold Rush, amazing silent movie, Charlie Chaplin. 
Another Charlie Chaplin, City Lights, excellent. One of my favorite Chaplins, The Great Dictator, wonderful movie. It's a mad, mad, mad world. Well, whoops, that was out of order, but here's also Chaplin, The Kid. The Fisher King. See what I was saying? This is this is also um, I've got to put these in order. This is Terry Gilliam as well. I don't have them in order. I need to grab it up there and put them in order one day. This is Straw Dogs. Sam Peckinpah. Amazing movie. If you've never seen it, Dustin Hoffman. They made a remake a while back, but I didn't watch that. I don't watch remakes. Unless it's just something necessary. It's something... If it's a remake of a bad movie in the first place, but I hate when they remake classics and uh, really good movies. It makes no sense. Straw Dogs, they remade. They also remade... Tried to remake Red Dawn. I mean, why try to remake that movie? And then they got in trouble with China, which is... I would have made it anyways. I wouldn't give a fuck what China had to say, but they had to go back and reshoot everything and make it North Korea... Because they, they first started, it was going to be China as the bad guys. And they're like, oh, well, you know, China. They can... Yeah, yeah, you know how that goes. So this is Naked Lunch. It's a fun little movie. Haven't watched that in a while. Lord of the Flies, the original Lord of the Flies movie. Punch Drunk Love. P.T. Anderson. Seven Samurai. Wonderful movie. Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me. Safety list. This is a uh, Buster Keaton movie. Oh, excuse me, Harold Lloyd. Harold Lloyd. I about to say Buster Keaton. I looked at his picture and it's like, oh, it's Buster Keaton. No, it's Harold, it's Harold Lloyd. Excuse me. Silent movie. It's a silent. So, this is also this is a good one. Only Angels Have Wings. And if you guys want to know a little more about any of these, be feel free to leave a comment and I'll talk to you about any of them. I just don't have the time right now. I, I, I meandered too much on that stuff up there. This is One Eye Jacks, Marlon Brando. Good movie. Never seen it. Western. My Own Private Idaho. Gus Van Zant. Eight and a Half, which that's uh, that's one I've watched and I had on. DVD criterion. That's why it's still in the package. I just haven't rewatched it, and I also have it again in the Fellini set over here. So, and that's that's the same way. I think La Dolce Vita might be in its package as well. No, I I've watched La Dolce Vita here. This is also Federico Fellini's the La Dolce Vita. I haven't been showing you the backs, but we're just kind of cruising through these. It don't. This is also Satyricon Fellini. Like, I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of these separate, so... Well, three. I had three of them separate beforehand. Ghost World. Down by Law. Jim Jarmusch. Good movie. Excellent movie, if you've never seen it. Big Jim Jarmusch fan. Also, Jim Jarmusch, Stranger Than Paradise. Another excellent movie. Sid and Nancy. My Darling Clementine, a wonderful, wonderful John Ford Western. This is... Um, 
Yeah, I mean this this is like one of my favorite westerns of all time. It's up there. Excellent movie. But it's also it's also got Henry Fonda, excuse me. He might be important too, but Henry Fonda, my darling Clementine. It's a uh wide earth. Believe it or not, it's a wide earp story. It's a I can't remember if it actually it, it might even take place in Tombstone, but it's not a the same kind of story that obviously that um the movie Tombstone portrays. This is DC, it says H.G. Wells, excuse me, Things to Come. This is a great early science fiction movie that's wonderful. Being John Malkovich. A, B, a Brief History in Time. That's got some bad reflection there. There you go. Inside Lul and Davis. Excellent movie if you've never seen it. Coen Brothers. A Night to Remember. This is a Titanic movie. Excellent. The Unopened Parasite, which I have Parasite like... I was telling somebody the other day, I have like three or four versions of it. I have on DVD, no, at least three. I have, I have Blu-ray... 4K in this Blu-ray. This is the criterion. I had to have them all. Love this movie. If you've never seen Parasite, you know, I was kind of one of those people who was like, I'm not sure if it should have won the Academy Award, but after seeing the movie, um, I didn't see it beforehand. But before, uh, but after seeing the movie, I was like, it's pretty damn good. So you, so you should definitely, but this is The Irishman. But definitely go see, you know, definitely check out Parasite. Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai, Jim Jarmusch. See, I'm saying they're out of order. I usually, Criterion, I usually put my directors together. But if you've never seen this, Forrest Whitaker, this is awesome. This is an awesome movie. Wonderful. I might kind of slip out of frame a little more once we get a little bit further over. But we get here to Crumb. But I'll try to slide in frame when I need to. But this is Crumb. This is a documentary about Crumb. He was, uh, if you see this style of, um, I wish I, I'm not going to get up again, but I have one of his uh, art books. And he, he wrote, he done comic books, like dirty comics for the most part in the 60s and 70s. But um, some pretty, um, people would probably find it pretty offensive these days. But, you know, it's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Lady Eve. Another good movie. Fresh and Sturgis, Barbara Stanwyck, Henry Fonda. This is a good little movie. There's another one not open. I haven't watched this. It's Scorsese Shorts. I haven't checked those out yet. Probably pretty good, though. This is Nashville. Wonderful little movie. I think this is Robert Altman. Yep, yeah, Robert Altman. This is a good movie. If you've never seen it, it's an excellent movie. I don't want my framing to get too far out. This is 39 Steps. This is another one I haven't... This is Alfred Hitchcock. Um, I have seen this. This is a good movie. But I haven't watched it, The Criterion. This is the Kennedy Films. I haven't checked these out yet. I forgot I had that, to be perfectly honest with you. I bought this last year during the sale. I haven't watched it. Pretty bad. I'm behind bad on movies. But this is Buster Keaton. This is The Cameraman. This is a good silent movie. Excellent. Charade. Terry Grant, Ari Hepburn. Uh, let me see. But this is Charade. Good movie. Another excellent sci-fi. This is War of the Worlds. Love this movie. This is a great transfer of this movie. Yeah, so here's another. This is another Jim Jarmusch. This is Dead Man. I've seen it, but it's I have it on DVD, and I'd have never have watched the this version. This is Dead Man. This is the Gunfighter. This is another one I have on Laserdisc that I've never watched on on the Blu-ray. So I'm just all over the place. Like I say, I had some. 
This is All About Eve. This is a great movie. This is uh, obviously Betty Davis. Um, I'm trying to see who directed this real quick. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Joseph Makowitz directed this. Yeah, this is this is a good movie. Really good. Amazing movie. Hitchcock movie. If you've never seen this, this is Notorious. One of my favorite Hitchcock movies. Just wonderful. Wonderful Hitchcock movie if you've never seen this. It's, it's amazing. Racerhead. David Lynch. Wonderful. Next up, Mulholland Drive, David Lynch. Great movie. Um, I don't know. A lot of people don't like Lynch. I, I, I like what... Um, the, a lot of times when I watch older movies, I start seeing some of his influence, like Godard and people like that. And I can kind of see where he's coming from. But he's uh, sometimes people would think... I, I like the complexity of his movies. I like that he um, has kind of a twist in there and it's kind of a supernatural kind of twist to his movies. And um, I'm not the person that tries to solve his movies. We used to talk about it when we were, especially like when Lost Highway came out. It was uh, showing at the theaters, the uh, local theaters in uh, Lexington. And me and my old roommate, we used to go see it. We used to see it two or three times just to see if we didn't talk about figuring it out. My but my you know, my old roommate, he was a really intelligent guy, and he um, he really um, was really into trying to solve it. But, um, you know, uh, a lot of people explain away, like, a lot of his stuff. I just don't care. I don't try to because I just I think it's wonderful. I like his I like his way, his filmmaking style. So he has a lot of – he appreciates the um, – he has definitely a very sound film education. Here's Scanners, David Cronenberg. Now, I haven't got all those Scanner Cop and all that stuff that's come out recently. I haven't bought all that. This is one I have not watched yet. It's Marriage Story. I remember going and picking it up during the sale. I think it was in the sale last year. I picked it up, and I just haven't watched it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's supposed to be a good movie. This is The In-Laws. This is a good little movie. <laughs> This is a uh, Arthur Hiller directed it. Um, God, I, I'm bad with names. I'm sorry, but um, God, come on, Peter Falk. Excuse me, you guys can see him, Peter Falk, right here. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, this is a fun little movie. Minding the gap. Jimmy hit, Jimmy plays Monterey. I just haven't checked this out yet. I've seen segments of this before. Not the whole movie. We're kind of getting into... This is Melchette. Another movie. I, we're kind of, kind of getting into my segment of unwatched stuff. But I have watched this. This is a Band of Outsiders. This is also Jean-Luc Godard. I love his filmmaking style. It's just wonderful. Uh, he's definitely a visual cine... You know, he's a very visual director. Um, he really likes the old movies, you can tell, because a movie that I watched just the other day of his, um, I, I apologize, but I watched one of his movies a couple of days ago, and he, um, he, you could, he, it was shot in the, he shot in the 60s, excuse me, it was shot in the 60s, but he shot it all in full frame in the 60s in black and white. So he really, had, and it really looked like an older movie, it almost looked like the, you know, late 20s, early 30s movie. So it was a very interesting. I guess he was maybe going for the slight noir effect, but it was supposed to be kind of like a science fiction movie in, in intent. But this is Dr. Strangelove. Beautiful set. I think that some of this stuff is getting released on 4K. Now, this is Godard Breathless. I have watched Godard Breathless, but I haven't watched this version of it. This is a beautiful set. Here's Come and See. This is a Russian movie. This is really good. Pretty bizarre. I 
think I skipped one there. No, my bad. This is the Elephant Man. I have seen the Elephant Man, but I haven't watched this version of it yet. Beautiful covers. These have Criterion have beautiful, really beautiful covers, especially on their, especially in their um, Blu-rays. Now, back in the day with their um, laser discs, some of their covers were bizarre. Like the Ghostbusters covers, literally just a cover of them fighting at the end, fighting the Gozer at the end, and it, it's just so such a bizarre cover. This is, excuse me, Wildlife. Uh, I'm trying to think who directed this. This was Paul Dano directed this. If you're familiar with Paul Dano, the actor, Paul Dano, he directed this movie. It's a fun little movie. It's just like a family drama. And uh, it's it's a good little movie. Highly recommend it. We'll go back over here and make it easy on me again. This is Girlfriends. This is a recent pickup that I haven't watched yet. That's a uh, look interesting to me. This is Man Push Cart. This is an excellent movie. Independent movie. Um, it's about a uh, basically like an Indian immigrant that's over here trying to, and he basically operates a a push cart that's on um, in New York City, but he like sells food like coffee and donuts. In the mornings and uh, like maybe coffee and bagels or something like that but and he um but he pushes it around by hand because he doesn't have a car to um he doesn't have a car and it's kind of a family thing it, it's 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 just kind of an independent store it's just a little a cool little story it's a uh, very i highly recommend it it's very ex is excellent this is godzilla this is the original godzilla excuse me Number one, Brazil, Terry Gillian. Love this movie. One of my favorite Gillian movies. Jubal, excellent little Western, excuse me. As Delmer Davis directed it. Yeah, I see my stuff's out of order because I got other Gillian movies and they're not here with this stuff. There's three, the original 310 to Yuma. Very good. This is, somebody's asked me about this other day. Um, this is Paris, Texas. Um, wonderful movie. Um, I'm trying to see who directed this. I can't remember. But the, yeah, this is a good movie. Paris, Texas. Excuse me. I don't have my. I don't have my. I don't have my magnifying glass and stuff. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. The next one is Brute Force. Haven't watched this yet. This looks like a good movie. Like I was saying, I'm real. Be I'm behind on my all of my movies. Really, a lot further behind than I like to be. Here's Naked City. Jill Justin, the same guy directed both of those movies. They look excellent. They look like noirs, so they uh, they should be fun. Really good. I need to check those out. Actually, this is Repo Man. Another good movie. Some of the stuff, like the ones I just, a lot of the stuff that I haven't watched is usually stuff that I picked up in the sale and I just haven't got around to watching yet. This is Pats of Glory. This is awesome. This is a wonderful movie. Kirk Douglas, but this is Stanley Kubrick, believe it or not. And this is a World, World War One movie. Excellent, excellent movie. This is The Thin Red Line. Another good war movie. And see, here's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It's way over here. Criterion, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Terry Gillian. Should have been down there. I'll have to do that here soon and put these in there. But here's also Terry Gillian, Jabberwocky. Fun, funny movie. Excellent movie. It's Terry Gillian, so it's always fun. Here's the shooting. Okay, this is the shooting and right in the whirlwind. These are two films by Monty Hellman. These are two kind of independent westerns but they're excellent excellent westerns 
like up there with any western I've really ever saw. They're excellent westerns. Um, Monty Hellman. Um, I have to look at something real quick. And I apologize doing this to you guys, but I think he directed this. Yes, this is Monty Hellman. This is Tulane Blacktop, another amazing, amazing movie. This is um, actually, you know, if, especially if you like cars, excuse me, but if you like cars and uh, this is has, um, excuse me, it has James Taylor, believe it or not, he's one of the lead actor, James Taylor's in it, and Dennis Wilson, Dennis Wilson's the mechanic, and he's, they're like drag racers kind of working their way across the country. They basically get in a race with, um, excuse me, with um, Warren Oates. I always forget his name, Warren Oates. I should never forget his name. He's a great character actor. He's been in a lot of stuff. Worked with Sam Peckinpah a whole lot. But they get basically get in kind of a race across country against, and it's just kind of adventure pursues, you know, with that kind of thing. And just it's just a great, great, great movie. And I hope I didn't lose my place over here. But here we go. Yeah, that those two go together. When I seen Monty Hellman, I was like, oh yeah, he he directed that movie. This is It Happened One Night, Clark Gable movie. Excellent. Uh, they're, they're criterion, so there's nothing that's going to be really that bad. Rosemary's Baby. Roman Polanski. Here's Tess, Roman Polanski. I haven't watched that. I've seen it, but I haven't watched this version of it. And if you have noticed today, I'm sitting in the floor because I'm on the bottom shelf here. So, And I'm kind of out of frame now, so I apologize. I told you that was going to happen, but this is F for fake. Orson Welles. Overlord. D-Day, June 6, 1944. Overlord. Seems like it's a bizarre little movie. then that's not a criterion. So we're getting into, actually we're out of order just by one, but this was Laura, this is Isle of Dogs, one that hadn't been put on criterion. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Wes Anderson movie. Most of everything he makes gets put on criterion and this one is not for some reason. I, I think, I think it's an ex, it's a pretty good little movie, probably the weaker of his movies, but it's still an excellent movie. But we get into, uh, the life aquatic, These are out of order for some reason. They're all over the place. But Life Aquatic was Wes Anderson. This is Wes Anderson. The Darjeeling Limited. All of these movies are highly, highly recommended by me. Highly recommend his movies. The Royal Tenenbaums. Rushmore. The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Like I'm saying, they're badly out of order, too. Grand Budapest Hotel. Wonderful. All these are wonderful. Moonrise Kingdom. Wes Anderson is wonderful. Excuse me, I keep saying wonderful, but they're wonderful. And also, Wes Anderson's Bottle Rocket, his first movie. Highly recommend that. That's one a lot of people don't know about. Princess Bride Criterion, and it's a book. It's a digi book Criterion. I skipped one there. Cul de Sac. That's also Roman Polanski. On the waterfront. On the waterfront, Marlon Brando. Excellent. Everybody's talking about town. I can't sing as good as Nielsen, Midnight Cowboy. Local Hero. This is a fun little movie. Good movie. 
when I haven't watched yet. This is Tempo Tempopo. Supposed to be a good little movie. I haven't watched it yet though. This is Shortcuts. This is a great movie. I think this is this might be Robert Altman as well. Who? But Shortcuts. This is a great movie. Ace in the Hole. Fun movie. Really good movie. This is Jackie Chan Police Story Collection. It's the Police Story and Police Story 2. I have seen this. This is The Virgin Suicides. Just haven't watched it on Criterion yet. But this is Sofia Coppola. The Virgin Suicides. Excellent movie. This is Burroughs. Documentary about William S. Burroughs. Excellent. Another excellent movie. Badlands. C.C. Spacek. Martin Sheen. Her first movie. Destry Rides Again. This is awesome. This is Marlena Dietrich. James Stewart. This was... Who directed this? George Marshall directed this. But this is Destry Rides Again. This is Hopscotch. Valley of the Dolls. A movie I have on regular Blu-ray but never have watched this version of is Boyhood. This is also Richard Linklater. This needs to be up here with the other Richard Linklater movies. Excellent movie. Another great movie, 1984. Watch this movie and it might, uh, you might think, uh, well, are we already in 1984 now? Who knows? To be or not to be? Jack Benny? Carol Lombard? I haven't watched this in a while. Another good one, When We Were Kings. This is an excellent movie, documentary. If you've never seen this, it's about the rumble in the jungle. The Ali and um, George Foreman fight. If you've never seen that, it's excellent. Blue Velvet. Another David Lynch movie. Excellent movie. Easy Rider. Self-explanatory. This blowout. This is John John Travolta and Nancy Allen. Excuse me. Brian De Palma. Excuse me. That's who directed that. This is Master of the House. Crazy little movie. The young Mister Lincoln. This is awesome. This is a great movie. This was a, it's a John Ford movie, obviously, but. It's also, um, God, who, uh, who played, this is, uh, I know who it is. Henry Fonda, excuse me. Henry Fonda is Lincoln. Excellent movie. West Front, 1918. World War One. The Graduate. Awesome Noir Detour. Wonderful, almost like a B movie basically, but just an amazing movie. Yeah, this was Edgar E. Edward G. Ulmer directed. Wonderful movie. Another John Waters movie. This is Multiple Maniacs. Crazy. Early, you know, early. This has got Divine, early Waters. Just crazy. Also, John Waters, Female Trouble, Another Divine, Mad. These movies are mad. If you've never seen these early John Waters movies, they're just mad. I haven't showed you guys the inside of any of these, but if you want to see them, just let me know. The Great Escape. Excellent, obviously. One of my favorite westerns of all time, John Ford's Stagecoach. John Wayne's first major movie. 
There's also David Lynch. It's David Lynch, the Art Loft documentary. And we come to one more left, and this is In Cold Blood, Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Excellent movie. If you ever seen the the bioptic of called Capote that came out a few years, it kind of centers around the writing of that book in cold blood. So that's where that's what the kind of the storyline of the bioptic. So yeah, this is my collection. This is the Criterion Collection. And um, if you guys have any questions and want to know a little bit more about my collection and any individual titles, just make sure you guys leave me a comment in the comment section. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later.